Couldn't dodge in time. Doing the skill. What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Craftopia. If you didn't catch it last week, we basically did a little live stream just to get a little further in for some maybe basic automations, do a little exploration, just kind of getting some things set up at the base. One of those things was starting on our farming adventures because unlike the legacy game before the seamless update a lot of stuff is actually locked behind farming content which is interesting in its own take and also in my eyes a little goofy however i like the idea because it makes you do other things maybe you would not have done so with that in mind you're gonna see me coming over here and getting some sea patties sewed up and the reason for that is one, we're going to use these seeds to buy more advanced crops and two uh, other recipes. One of the recipes in this game that we found out during the stream that's locked behind farming is actually the breeding facility. Now that is found in the third town and we'll go over that a little bit separately as well, but it requires like 50 cabbages. Again, not a lot. However, you need to get cabbage seeds. In order to get cabbage seeds, I believe there's a trader over here. Where this is the second town, by the way. Here he is. This merchant smith. And you can see he has cabbage seeds here available for five rice. He also has additional farming plots open for 25. And you can also see to get the blueprints for seed extractors or for the reaping machine, we also need rice so with that in mind we're going to start working on farming a bit as well as we go and you can also see if like i said if you also didn't catch the live stream i went and found a breeding facility i found this in the world i'll make a separate video a little little later on where to find that so that way you too can get your own breeding facility and i'll show you guys how to set up a small completely automated farm with breeding green motos and say cows to make energy a oh, little battery fell out over here excuse you can you go back in here please thank you and then i also captured an anubis to bring him home with me so now while i'm here if i can he's in a weird spot here there we go talk so now i can also do exchanges right at my own home so very very convenient so I figured the first thing we're going to do today is head out to two places, and that's here. So over here, you can see this is where the old Garden of the Undead is. And there's going to be a boss guy sitting over here as well. So I'm going to grab some arrows. Beautiful. Make sure to equip said arrows right there. Actually, I'm just going to come to the market real fast as well and sell these just so I can get some more coin because coin is going to be very important to us. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, it's actually about to be nighttime. So I'll meet you over at that boss location and show you where like kind of a nice little boss to fight is. This guy over here or girl over here actually had a quest for us. You saw a man floating in midair flying deep into the castle. All right. Defeat a wizard above level one. Actually, you know what? On that note, since we're going to be heading towards a castle, let me go back to town. There's going to be a lot of quests for us to take here. So why don't we go ahead and take a peek at all of these? So you, my dear, what do you got? Offer sheep wool. I probably have some laying around. Are you still using copper and get sweet? The times are iron it's unlike it's unlikely that the sturdy versatile okay i don't offer iron ore do i have that on me i don't think so i just kind of cleaned up my inventory before we started so come back for that later so thirsty offer 10 water i think i only have oh like actual water not buckets of water that's a different thing she has the offer quest i don't think i have any of those so that's okay and who else here has something for me? You do. 
Have you ever seen a goblin that uses a bow? Okay, defeat goblin archers above level one. And there's someone here. Offer 10 batteries. That's pretty simple. We I actually have a ton of batteries at the house. Because we're going to need some wool. So why don't I just like shear those sheep right there. Just real fast. You know, just a quick shear. And then offer cheesecake. Interesting. So I'm going to have to learn how to make that. I'm not... Nope. There's actually two more quests out here too. Hello? There he is. We'll just grab all these. That way we can get them done. Do I like horses? Defeat horses above level seven. That's sad. He wants. He asked me if I liked horses, and now he wants me to kill five of them. The goblin settlement nearby. Offer flintlock carbine. Okay, so he's kind of teaching us more about the crafting available to us. What is this? Is this the Mandaragas? Actually, yes, it is. Okay. Then maybe this is the wood we're looking for. Nope, seems like just standard wood. Noted. I do have a few more skill points here. And I'm trying to get down to the last level here so we can get our ultimate skill, basically. The Magnum Shot. Absolutely OP. Let's see. What do we have available when your life becomes low? No. That's for a spear, one-handed, two-hander, rampage. Physical critical chance will increase for a short period of time when you kill an enemy. It refreshes. Nah, that's not going to be great for us. Dual wield. Backstab is a melee. Unstoppable samurai. Lifesteal. Maybe I do backwater formation now in return of defense. Yeah, this is where we're going to go. So how many? I need six points. So actually, if we, when we max this out, then we'll be ready for our ultimate ability. Okay, cool. Speaking of that, though, I should add that skill to my list here. I'll go backwater on two, I suppose. Beautiful. That's just going to get us a big old boost of damage. I just saw a soul orb over here. Oh, dear. Thank you. That's the castle we're going to go into. It's where the next dungeon is. And over here is one of the field bosses, the Splendid Mono King. He's a very easy boss. Very docile, the Mono people. I'm not even going to use my buffs. I'm just going to kind of hit this. Use my supercharged bow. Oh, it didn't give me the, the crit hit. I'm not sure what his crit is. I thought it was in the circle, but... Ow! Ow, that was rude. It takes a long time to charge my bow, sir, if you could be patient. I'm just going to go in and give him a few old baps here. What's your crit spot? Is it your helmet? It's not salt. Is it your mouth? Is it your mustache? Not sure. <laughs> I don't know what your crit spot is, bro. Whatever. Doesn't matter what your crit spot is. You're dead. So you can get from him. I'm already wearing one. So this is a legendary item, the Splendid King Mono's Ruling Crown number one. This one's just a King Mono, so it's missing that Splendid attribute, which gives more mana and max mana. However, these are great items if you are going down the magic field. So definitely farm that to get yourself the Splendid Mono Helmet, and you'll definitely be appreciative of it. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, let's get up in this castle here. I'm just going to climb this wall. Kind of reheal the stamps down here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. 
So we did clear this out when we were doing the live stream. I just wanted to come back and show you guys so you can know how to get the key you need to unlock the next age. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. I'm probably going to use my sword for a lot of this just because I don't really feel like wasting arrows. But over here is a, you know, a nice thick boy. So if I put our good weapon on. Let's see what kind of big crit we can get now with our, our new setup here. Go him. We'll go backwater. Did that do it? Nope, not yet. Backwater. And then we attack. Only, what was that? 150,000? That's not bad. <laughs> we got some blood red coins here. Didn't get his weapon, but that's fine. We'll take those for our lovely little test here. Isn't there a third one? No, maybe not. Definitely thought there was, but that's fine if there's not. The bow is OP. Little chest over here. Guess I never got this earlier. Bam. Little bit of health pots. I'll take that. Thank you. Little Dodger Rooney over there. Same thing there. Bam. See you later. You're not worth an arrow. Oh, that missed. Just too high. Thank you. Little Weezard. I missed. Sorry, Wizard. All right, so what happens here? You know, there's a nice little little place to explore in here. A couple great swords of recovery to be coming and checking out some monsters in here. Ow, that was rude. But the big nuts and bolts is up there is a dungeon tower. And it's kind of like a small puzzle in order to open up the old garden of the undead. So what you're going to need to do is first come down here and touch. Come on, don't be rude about this guy. Thank you. First you'll come down here and you'll touch this. And then it'll start to glow like you see mine is. And then we'll, we can head on up, which I know there's like a set of stairs around here. Here it is. Why is this here? Did the game like... Reset in a weird way so I get all my soul orbs back. Not sure what's going on here. Kill this guy. And then on both ends, we've got this one, which will then start to glow red. And then on the opposite side, you can see here as well, we've got the green one. That'll glow green once you open it. Got him. That was a nice shot. And then once you've completed those, the dungeon opens up over here. And then you can go into the old garden of the undead. Why don't we play out through the whole thing in story mode? But here you can also get some great mage items. So like if we look at the normal one, for instance, here, you can get yourself. This is where you get the Miller Wind Hills key for evolution. You can also get the Grim Reaper number one. Magic attack 30, magic attack 20, and then two bonuses of 1% for magic attack. So a nice epic weapon to be using. And then you can get the token of the undead here as well. And get some glass on it. Some glass and bones with those magic buffs. So a great little farm spot here. <laughs> Make sure we're in story mode. Challenge this. Let's go have a little fun. So it starts us off, you can see we've got a few 
Oh, it's fully unlocked for me. That's unfortunate. I was hoping story mode would make me replay through the content, but it doesn't seem to be doing so. However, I believe this is the way we have to go first. Yep. So you come up this platform here. Oh my God, he hit me midair. What a Chad. Was not expecting that, you jerk. We're gonna blast this boy in the face here. As soon as he shoots that arrow. Oops. He was a lot further than I expected apparently because there was a lot of drop on that arrow. There's the headshot though. Gigantist Ballista. Very good fight, sir. Make our way downtown. Wait, you got some arrows for us over here? Is that a spear? Oh no, it's five arrows. Okay, I was like, what does he got here? I guess that was the only thing over here. I really wish it reset these for you when you... Oh no, it does, yeah. So... Yeah, I really wish it reset this so I could try to remember the correct original path. But here, you have to climb up these. Stamina drain is extra high here, so be mindful while you're climbing to not go too fast and let your stamina regenerate. As you can see here, like, just getting on top of that was almost all of my stamina, right? Climb it up. So close. And I think this is high enough for me to glide up. I'm just going to wait for that stamina. Nope, not quite high enough. It's fine. I'll, I'll go from here. There we go. Get our lovely little stamina back. Whoosh. Perfect. Then you'd come up here, open this crystal. And then this path should open up over here for us. You can't use your power in this area. Now we've got a little puzzle. This was actually pretty cute. I liked this. So these will just kind of spawn and respawn. So when the green ones spawn, we just kind of got to go. <laughs> Ate it. Good to go. I think these ones fell when I touched them. The heck? Yeah. Oh, I don't have my. <laughs> I'm like, where's my sword? Oh, 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 that was almost bad. And now, same thing. These are gonna fall, but those are sp despawning as they go. Good timing, good timing. Ah, shoot. They're probably gonna despawn here in a second. Okay, got it. We're fine. Gonna hold off for a moment here until those respawn. There we go, we're back. And I think these drop as you land on them. Yep, they do. Alright, we're good. Just gonna wait for the stamina to get back up here a bit and just kinda get some jumps to make this rise and then get across here. Bam. Lovely little puzzle. I, I like that. And then you would touch this crystal. This opens back up and as you can see, it brings us back to our main platform. Didn't mean to do that, but that's fine too. We got some bad boys over here. There's your head. Okay, he took the shot for his buddy here. You two, and then an, a mage. Is there one more? Oh, there he is. <laughs> nice fight, nice fight. Then get my spices. Never, never forget your spices, baby. These will come in handy, trust me. Trust me. Beautiful. 
nothing down there and now you can see this brings us back to the main platform and i believe the next place we need to go was this one could be wrong if i am it's just gonna you would just go to that one right there it's whichever one's lit up for you of course if i come up here now Good fight. And just, you know, just overall good fights. Just good fights. We've got an OP sword. Grab these. Like I said, make sure you grab your spices. Don't leave them behind. Oh, that's the portal out of here. See, I really loved this dungeon because the next puzzle right here was really fun. Not this one. This one up here. This one, all you have to do is light these up. This right here says light up all the lights. I thought it was going to be like one of those lights out puzzles. Like when you light one up, others turn off. I don't know if like maybe their code is broken, but this is a terrible puzzle right here. It's so stupid. <laughs> But then when that opens up, you would just turn back here after lighting those up. Oh, well, this is a predicament. Uh, this would not be glowing red for you here like this. Oh, oh. Oh, is it going to let me skip because I've already beat the puzzle? I think the puzzle's broken because I've already done it before. I might have to go into it backwards. Yeah, like these have invisible walls because you're not supposed to be able to cheat and jump through these. However, the game hasn't realized that I've already done the puzzle. So hold on, let me try and go into it backwards. Okay, I was able to get into it backwards. So I'll just kind of give you a, a, a glimpse of how this puzzle works, right? So the end goal is to get to the other side over here, which connects back down to the main area. How you do it is you can see these barriers exist. When you touch a crystal, it'll turn that barrier on or off. So if I come back up here and I wanted to get through that yellow side on the opposite side, what I'd have to do is hit this yellow one here, but you can see that closes those yellow ones off for me. So then I'd have to come back through here and then I could get to the other side over here where again, there's another yellow blocker. And I could go through here, but then it's like, oh no, wait, I also need a blue. You can't go around them. So it's like, okay, let me go back, turn the blue off on the other side, etc. And you just kind of use that to circumnavigate this puzzle. Very easy. I actually really enjoy it. I hope they put a mechanic in the game where like, like I would like to go back and do the puzzle again. Although it's easy, it's cute, right? So I would love to be able to see that kind of addition back in the game here. So I did level up. Drag the updraft. And then after that, this side would open up for you. Here to the final area, which is where the boss is. Messenger of the blue underworld. I wonder if I can hit them from outside the barrier here. That'd be silly, but let's find out. You can. You can hit them from outside the barrier. Why? Like, it doesn't come after you, so I could safe spot every boss in this game. It's so dumb. Let's go. Let's be better than that. This takes so long to charge that up. I can't tell what I'm hitting, though. I'm just going to go in. I don't actually care. <laughs> go battle him. Ow. Go back water. Couldn't dodge in time. Doing the skill. <laughs> See you later. Hey, we got the Reaper weapon. Very cool. So there's your Millowind Hills key to evolution right there. What's happening over here? 
And we got the weapon. Let's just equip that to give it a peek. More like a like a sickle than a scythe, I'd say. It's one-handed, but nice and strong. So this is the blue underworld. Grim Reaper number one. 50 magic attack and then an additional 2%. It's very nice. I definitely check it out, mages, okay? Good place to farm, okay? So make sure you grab that weapon for yourself. Then I'll just come up here. I've already done the story completion, so it looks like I don't get the chest a second time, which is fine. I want to see if I can one-shot that boss. So let's go in again. However, this time we're just going to do a normal challenge. Head in. Remember, when you challenge anything outside of story mode after the completion, you just spawn at the boss location. Oops, not that. This one. Two. I don't have my other buff ready because of the cooldown, but that's fine. We do have battle him on. I'm just gonna... I think aiming like right here is probably good enough at this distance. Oh, I hit her wing, I think. <laughs> so dumb. I don't even have to go into the fighting zone. Well, whatever. Reaper scales, some glass. Did get another level up there, so we can just come down here again, backwater. And then with this, that'll unlock the next area for us, which is nice. So then I can get magnum shot fires, fire arrow, or shots that deal a devastating damage. And it will be absolutely devastating. I'll tell you what. But all right. That's the boss there. So silly. So dumb how you can just fight them from outside the area. Really? Combat has always been lax in this game. It's been super underwhelming. And it seems it's only gotten worse with the update. But it is what it is. You don't really... In my opinion, you don't play this kind of game for the combat, right? It's just not it. Grab these enchanting scrolls here. We can learn those by right clicking them, I guess. And let's just get out of here. Beautiful. So that's the old garden of the undead. Definitely for all my magey boys and girls out there. Go check that out. Now let's just go turn this key in real quick. I'm just going to teleport on out of here. This will just take me home using the teleport pot and I'm just gonna take a quick walk over to the tower over there so I can fast travel to the other tower My brothers and sisters if you're loving craftopia make sure you show that love and appreciation by smashing that like button down below double checking to make sure you're subscribed while you're down there as well and leave in comments let me know how your games are going so we defeat the bow goblin so that quest is complete just turn that in while I'm there then we'll just take our nice little pathway up. <sighs> A little low on stamina. I'll just walk the rest of the way. Boop. Good to go. Excellent. And that's obviously where we were before. Yeah. Curious. So fast travel. And also... Just as a note to repair this, we're gonna need the batteries, bioethanol, some paper and grease. We obviously have the batteries and we'll have a nice little video about that later, but also we'll go into the rest of the items we need as well as we get there. But the first step to that is completing that dungeon we were just in, grabbing that Millowind key and heading on back to the Gaziz Plasbo. I can't talk today, apparently. Let's just go up. Hey, look, that soul orb is back. What happened? Why are the soul orbs respawned? I'm not sure what's happening. But Age of Evolution, I've already turned it in. So then you would just come here, turn in yours, and you would have some access to the breeding facility and some other great things, including the silver tiered weapons. But all right, brothers and sisters, we're going to wrap this one up here. Until next time, I hope the rest of your day... It's not too shabby.